Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so I'm standing here halfway inside the container because I'm trying to find a spot with no wind. I walked out, found a great spot to start filming, and of course, the wind picked up the minute I pressed the record button. I really appreciate all of the suggestions we had in the comments about what to name the roads. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to keep everybody in suspense. My neighbor's roads are going to be a secret because uh, they're kind of a surprise. <laughs> so, anyway. You're all gonna have to wait to see about that. As far as uh, me and Sue's roads, first off, I'll start with the racetrack. I decided that uh, a great name for the racetrack is going to be the Bandit Raceway. I think it sounds great. Why not? Um, our main driveway coming up to the point of the split is going to be named Luna Lane. You know what? That's going to be the name of the driveway and the connecting road all the way through to Aja's. The easement road, I think, is going to stick with the original name that we all kind of gave it originally and we gave the property when we very first bought it, which is we decided to call it Base Camp. And it's an acronym. What it stands for is Bruce, Aja, Sue, and Ed. Base. Base Camp. Uh, Base Camp Road. Uh, Luna Lane will be um, the main road that goes through my property, my driveway, and goes through to Aja's property. The name of the track is going to be uh, Bandits Raceway. We will uh, call the small loop turnaround, we'll call it Scouts Loop. Uh, you know, I had a name picked out for the small, tiny road that goes from my camp to Bruce's camp, but you know what, I kind of forgot what that was. Uh, at least that many so far are named. Um, and chances are, I'm probably going to name everything else by the pets. So that will probably give you a little bit of a hint, but I'm still not sure. Uh, you have to wait to find out. Uh, more than likely, uh, it's not going to be until Aja comes back and everybody comes back in September is when they're going to first see the names of the roads and that's when you all are going to see them too. So uh, if anybody hasn't figured out on the videos yet, Aja and pretty much everybody else has already moved on for the summer. Um, there were just a couple of holdovers that were left here uh, just working on a couple of, uh, of things. Uh, it made sense for them to just stay here until they're done. Probably in the next uh, few weeks, I'd say, me and Sue are going to be here uh, on the property by ourselves until uh, September. Gout is doing extremely well. Bandit and Sue, uh, everybody's doing great. Scout has been extremely uh, rambunctious and uh, crazy. She uh, she missed Mama a lot. <laughs> One of the big projects I'm going to be venting the shipping container, and I'm deciding uh, which ways I want to go about it. Uh, I've heard a lot of different ways of doing it, and uh, kind of narrowing in on something right now. So anyway, there'll be more to come. Uh, I've kind of taken a little bit of a break on the pack rat nests. I've gotten the ones taken care of uh, initially around camp. I guess one more thing, if somebody wants to put some ideas in the suggestions, uh, I'm not interested in doing a bunch of traps because this, that would be way too much work. But um, apparently I have an invasion of chipmunks now. And the problem with the chipmunks is if I leave this container door open, uh, they'll run inside right while I'm standing here during the day. I can't have a rodent of that type getting into my container and getting into my food stock and stuff. I've been catching them in some of my um, mouse and rat traps. There's an invasion of them here. And like I said, they're literally, they're doing everything they can trying to get into my container. And you know, if I leave the door open to the RV, they, they almost try to run up inside there. And I, I can't have them around my camp. I just can't. Just so everybody knows where my head is on it, it's probably gonna be uh, boom, 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 every single one of them. So I can't take the chance of them getting into my stuff. There's hundreds of thousands of acres out here. I'm sure there's hundreds of thousands of other ones. Um, they don't need to exist in my 10. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll have more to come. Thank you for watching. Right as I press the record button, the wind picks up. We had no, literally no wind. I'll try to turn the camera towards the wind. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Just, uh, okay, I'll try again later.